What's up? It's Mayan with RVMax.us and I have the pleasure of bringing you a 2007 American Coach Eagle. This is the 45D floor plan and it's quite a special coach for many reasons that we're going to get to talk about today. I mean, sitting right here it's one color and as we walk down the side of it, you might get to see a couple of other colors. This has a special custom paint job from the factory. They only did a few of these coaches. Um, where they have this color changing paint that goes down the side and the main striping of it constantly changes colors. On the front of the coach, first of all, this is I think my favorite front end on any American Eagle. They had a couple variations of the front end. I kind of go back and forth between this generation and the previous generation, but I think the face of this coach takes the cake as far as all the American coaches, at least in my opinion. This has a 10,000 watt generator. Right now it's purring. It's running all three of our low profile roof air conditioners, which are also heat pumps. We also have these European style drop down mirrors from the top. They're actually some of the best mirrors you can get. They're the triple stack. I believe these are Velvac mirrors and they're upside down. So they come from up above, giving you a really nice perspective down the side of the coach. And it also, gives the coach a big bus look. I really like how that comes down and hangs off the front. It's uh, actually like how a lot of Newell coaches do it. Now I've got our stainless tipped generator exhaust there, right there in that little mount to keep it steady while you drive down the road. Got our small hydraulic pump for the generator slide. And this coach has air leveling and it also has hydraulic leveling, all part of the same leveling system. So you can use air or hydraulic to level the bus and that is a huge plus. It's nice having the best of both worlds, isn't it? Now we've got 295, 80, 22 and a half size tires all around the coach, and they're wrapped around 22 and a half size AccuRide wheels. There's a 150 gallon diesel fuel tank fillable from both sides of the bus. These are nice little add-ons here, the chrome pieces that go around our docking light. These are LED docking lights. These were upgraded on the coach, and they also look fantastic. I love how the chrome pieces that go down the bottom of the coach, um, these are summit chrome pieces, actually curve around this uh, chrome docking light just to make it proportionally accurate. It looks really good on the bus. And having those bright LED docking lights is a huge plus. Now this is our propane tank. I've always loved how American Coach keeps it enclosed. It's not just hanging out and exposed. And this is just for your stove top. This has a propane stove top. Now this is our first pass through storage compartment. This has one of the nicest slide tray packages. They had a couple different options in 07, but basically you've got these half sliders that come out on each side of the coach. The carpet is immaculate. The compartments are immaculate and that's a um, more of a rare feat on a coach this age. The exterior of this bus is absolutely immaculate. We do have one or two foggy windows. They're just slightly foggy. That's about the only nitpicky flaw I could find. Um, if you bring a magnifying glass, you can find a flaw or two. Um, but really, the outside of this coach is, is pretty much spotless, pretty close to spotless, which I don't blame uh, the owners of this coach keeping it in this condition because this paint, this exterior is absolutely beautiful. This is our wet bay here. We've got a soap dispenser, outside shower. You can turn your water pump on from here. There are even some outlets. And there's also a black tank flush and a gray tank flush. Um, and there's also a built-in macerator. So you push a button and it'll pump and grind all of the sewer out of the coach and your gray. So that can be very useful in a lot of situations. You don't have to drain out your hose. You don't have anything residual. It pumps it straight through. And the condensation lines for the air conditioners actually run down into this compartment too. And that's a very pretty high end feature to have on a coach instead of just letting the air conditioning roll out on the side off the top of the coach. 
Now this is where our Aqua Hot 450 is located. This will give you furnace heat, this will give you hot water, and plenty of it. Pretty much everybody knows what the Aqua Hot is nowadays, but it's a diesel fired burner with an electric element. Now this is our electric hose reel. So you pull it out like that. And I love how this little opening has four rollers on each side so you can easily let that thing roll itself back in. This is our central vacuum system, Dirt Devil. There's also a drain for the main tank, main freshwater tank. In addition to being able to feel, fill the coach from your typical spot, you also have a straight gravity fill, which is a nice touch to have. You can fill your tank up just like old school, just dump it straight into the tank. Now back here again, 295 size 80 tires all around. Wheels look fantastic. The Eagle is absolutely beautiful. Um, this paint job is stunning. The exterior of this coach is stunning. It's got four slides, and if you notice, this slide in the back is quite large, and it actually includes the bathroom. So that's a rare thing to see on a classic design coach because the travel space is still 100% there, um, but the bathroom gets big, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to see. Um, this is a side radiated bus, of course, so we've got a radiator right here. That chrome treatment continues all the way back here. And if you need to, there are two little bolts you take out, and this will actually, it's actually on a hinge, so you can open it up and get to that radiator. Now this compartment here is where our 50 amp power cord reel is. It's on an electric reel. And we have our second docking light on this side of the coach. I love how the handles are uh, also chromed out. They feel good and metallic when you use them and they also go well with that little chrome treatment on the bottom of the coach. The grill for the side radiator is actually painted. The back of the coach. This rear end is gorgeous. We've got our little spoiler wing on the top where our intake for our 10.9 liter Cummins ISM is located. This engine makes almost 1,600 pound-feet of torque and it's hooked up to a 4000 series Allison transmission, which is about the most heavy duty transmission you can get in any coach. This drivetrain is a tank and it's got a ton of power. And that is what gives us a big tow capacity on this coach. Now there is one little scratch right here in this big rear chrome bumper I'm gonna nitpick. This ladder actually you can detach. It's an aluminum ladder. And we've got these nice grills, this metallic, I think this seems like aluminum or stainless steel, these big bars that cover the engine. The rear of the coach is quite nice. We also have a nice uh, Eagle mud flap down there, chromed out exhaust pipe. Um, the mud flap has a little bit of, you know, it's not the most perfect condition, but it still looks fantastic. But the chrome exhaust tip is perfect. Um, this does have ABS, which a lot of buses have at this point. This is honestly a real good sweet spot. This is right before DEF. Um, this is right before all the emission stuff started getting added to these engines. Now this is a massive, massive positive on this coach. We've got a service center. So they've run your fuel filters, oil filters, and even the air dryer filter all over here to this bay. So instead of having to crawl way up in the engine to get to those filters, you've got them right here in this one spot. Now on the left, we've got our two starting batteries. And then on the right here, this canister is our hydraulic uh, reservoir. And that is for the hydraulic leveling system. And it's a super clean uh, tank and everything. A lot of times those get greased up and have a lot of dirt on them and everything. But yeah, everything in here looks very nice. And just service centers are a big positive American coach does on their buses. Now this next compartment here is an extra storage unit. We've got uh, our air leveling actuators up there or valves, and then we've got extra belts that go with the coach. Anyone um, who's out on the road a lot, these are very valuable to have just in case. And then we've got some chassis side electronics and a uh, little fuse box right there. We've got our docking light right here. Again, chrome piece around it, LED lights. Dualies here. I also really like how the tag wheel is also a deep dish wheel instead of being different from the dually. Looks a little more clean in my opinion. There's a small little flaw right here on this slide. And um, yeah, this side of the coach is amazing. I mean, the gloss and the depth of shine is, I think, probably the most glossiest and shiniest coach out here outside of our XL Prevo bus that we've got over there. And that's stainless steel polish. So this thing looks like a piece of candy. Now this right here is our coach battery compartment. We've got eight coach batteries in total here. 
These are good batteries, recently replaced. They're fresh, we've got cutoffs for everything. Got a main battery switch for the auxiliary. You can kill your inverters. You've even got a generator kill switch for the batteries there. And there's also a nice little layout of how the batteries should be wired, should you change them yourself or something. Now this is where we've got electronic guts of the coach. We've got all these fuse boxes and the computer that's running all of the push buttons inside for the lighting. And uh, it's nice having quick access to it. You can see if fuses are blown or whatever. And then up top, we've got our two inverter. So we've got a 2800 watt inverter right here. And then we've got a 2000 watt inverter on the right. So um, in a total, almost 5000 watts of inverter power. And what this lets you do is let you run your one 2000 watt inverter just for your big household refrigerator while you're going down the road if you're not running your generator. Um, so it doesn't suck as much power. It just lets the fridge draw off one inverter. And then if you want to power up the TVs and everything else 120 except for the air conditioners pretty much, then you can turn on your big 2800 watt. By the way, look at how overbuilt the hinges are on this thing. These are solid hinges. I mean, I feel like I could hang off the door. I don't want to actually do that, um, but these are some serious, serious hinges and you know if you watch our videos a lot every time I'm on an American coach I'm pointing out those hinges because they're so crazy now right here we've got our pass-through storage compartment the second one um, we've got some covers here for the coach I believe these are tire covers like a front and like a front bra or something like that there's outlets up there um, so you can plug into your power this is all heated down here these bays so if you turn the aqua hot and run it, it'll keep everything warm and heated. You won't have to winterize it if you've got heat on. And then here is our other pass-through storage compartment. We've got extra paint for the coach, actually good size extra paint. We've got the air pump for the interior of air mattress that's in a couch and just some extra parts that go with the coach. Yeah, pass-through storage is super nice. Bunch of, bunch of space, throw a bunch of stuff in here. You can put bikes, whatever you want. And this is our outside entertainment. This will actually slide out. It's on a really nice setup here. Um, and then there's storage back behind there if you want to put some stuff up in there. It's two little storage compartments. There's also a little extra radio head unit out here. Now this coach has a big patio awning. It goes all the way over the slide and a couple extra feet over here. And it's an electric awning. There is also a window awning package. And if you'll notice, Every single awning on this coach is covered in a metal shroud to protect it from the elements. So the slide out toppers close up in a shroud and the awnings, including the window awnings, all close up into a shroud, making the coach look better and protecting the fabric. The step is quite nice on this coach, gotta say. We do have keyless entry via this remote control right here. Nice little touch with this extra window piece added here. I've always liked that. Um, just gives you a little bit extra visibility in case there's some car like right here like some Ferrari is like low and something you can see it and it's actually a big wide door um, but another thing I like is it's one of my favorite luxury steps so it's a double step that slides out these are some of the most reliable luxury steps and gives us a nice walkway through a Corian finished step well into the Eagle bus let's go check out the interior welcome inside we've got a ton of space in here. Um, as you can see with the quad slides, this thing opens up. And then we've got this nice porcelain tile floor that goes from the front entrance all the way back to the bedroom. And I think that's another aspect about this coach that makes it look so good and big in here. We've got two couches right here. On the left, we've got a curved couch. This will jackknife so you can sleep some people here. These furniture pieces are in excellent condition. We've got this thick, full grain leather that covers everything, including the front two cockpit seats. Um, but the condition is nice. Got all these extra pillows, decorative pillows, but if you pull it back, you can see how excellent the condition is of these couches. We also have these nice window treatments. So they continue the nice wood, little bit of Alcantara leather, and this nice little twisted piece of wood that goes on top of that Alcantara piece that matches all of the cabinets too. So you've got this kind of it looks like roping, actually. It's like wood roping um, that goes all around these cabinets and around these big accent pieces. 
that go around the slide outs. Now right here is one set of buttons. Um, these are the type of buttons you're gonna see throughout the coach to control everything. There's multiple switches for most things in the coach. You can control things in a convenient manner. Now the other side, we've got this big, huge couch. So you can see a bunch of people here and there's a full pull out air mattress underneath it that we saw that pump for earlier. There's also these nice little pedestals around the coach. You've got this Corian piece here. You can place a drink there I and mean, hang out like this little touch of mirror here, just a splash. And there's actually a good bit of cabinet space up above both sides of the coach. These are pretty deep. They're bigger than what they look like, deeper than what they'd look like. And all of the woodwork is really solid stuff here. Very tasteful specification on this bus. Now the tile, this porcelain tile is heated. You've got dual zone tile heat in this coach. Um, so you can set the temperature, it's gold heat, electric heat, and it actually heat the coach a little bit in the winter time, and that's a big plus. Tile heat is a very nice luxury to have, especially in the bathroom back there. Now let's check out this galley space. We've got a massive galley space here. As you can see, you've got this huge center area here in between the sink and the stove, and we also have a massive sink. I mean, look how deep this one on the right is and how big the opening is for that sink there. There's a soap dispenser, filtered water, nice decorative wood carved piece here, and a bunch of storage down below. Drawers here. You can put all kinds of utensils, all that good stuff. And then there's another second shelving system there um, underneath the stove top here. So a ton of space to store stuff in this coach. Now right above is our gas fired stove top. Inserts come right up off of it. It's um, got a big burner in the back, smaller burner in the front. It's a princess stove top, so designer stove top. And it's all laid in Corian all around here. It's a beautiful kitchen area. And I love, I absolutely love this Corian. Looks so good in this bus. We also have these nice backsplash pieces here, porcelain tile backsplash with a very interesting custom laid artwork tile in the middle there. Now up above, there's even more storage. Um, good bit of storage in the coach. And to the left of all these cabinets, we've got a microwave convection oven here. So you can bake things in there and you can microwave things in there. There's also this huge upper light um, just blasting the whole area with light. The coach is very well lit. And this is another classic Eagle feature. Going down the center of the ceiling throughout the bus, there's this big Alcantara covered piece with a mirror insert in the center. And these are actually the returns for the air conditioners. Now across from the uh, galley space, the cooking area, we've got our eating area. This is where we've got a dinette here. This will pull out and extend. There's no leaves. All it does is unlock and pull straight out for a little additional space. You got some fold out chairs so you can seat full four people in this bus. There's also storage cabinets underneath this countertop here. Great visibility out of the coach. I love these big windows. This is a deeper slide than the other side. Um, so you can really sit here and you got an excellent view out of the coach. The front windshield is also pretty nice too. So if you're out there enjoying some national park, whatever, you're gonna be able to see where you're parked. Now, all of these windows actually have accent lights on like back in there. So at night, the windows look like they kind of glow um, and it gives it a nice, it's a nice luxury bus touch that this thing has. Um, and another nice luxury bus touch is the fantastic fans are all covered in these beautiful wood pieces. So they're not just there exposed. You see a nice decorative piece of wood that looks like a vent. It doesn't just look like a plastic fantastic fan. And I also really like this. Um, this is much preferred over the Newmar style. Newmars uh, on their hiring coaches, they have decorative pieces over their fantastic fans too. And they just pull straight out. Not a big difference, but these on the hinges, um, this is gonna be much easier to use and open all the time. Here's our big household refrigerator here. Uh, this thing is massive. You've got the big French doors here. But yeah, big household refrigerator here. And then a freezer drawer on the bottom. So this is, this is absolutely fantastic. And there's also an ice maker down in there too. And of course, a travel lock, which keeps it all contained. You know, honestly though, if you get one of these fridges without a travel lock and it comes open, you're driving a little too fast, okay? All right, this right here is our desk area. Now this is one of the unique things about this particular floor plan. We've got a desk here. Um, 
that's really made properly. You know, you see a lot of desks in coaches and some you gotta do all this work, turn it into a desk, and those are cool if they can make it work. This is a standalone, legit desk. Uh, I like how they continued this beautiful backsplash here. Um, you've got outlets here, you've got a little cord thing here so you can put in a printer, you can put stuff down in here if you'd like. Um, we've got our main breaker panel happens to be right over there. Yeah, good big, big countertop here so you can sit here and work. And what's great is this is unaffected by the slides. So when the slides are in, you've still got your nice workspace here. So you can work, pull over on the side of the road, park the coach. There's three drawers right down there. Nice plush leather seat here. And these are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And there's a bunch of storage back in there. High quality hinges here, stuff you'd see on a Prevo bus. It's all carpeted in there too. More stuff you'd see on a Prevo bus. Eagles are very well finished out as you can clearly see. Um, and there's a little more storage over here. Okay, let's uh, keep moving on. Now right here is our washer dryer stack. We've got the dryer up top and we've got our washer down below. And you might have noted the vent on the outside of the coach when we're walking around it. So it's beautiful, have a big washer dryer stack. This coach is fully loaded and while it's got all those top of the line features, it's not only very well maintained and in excellent condition, it's stunning. Okay, here is our pocket door. I love how they styled it. So it doesn't just look like a random piece of plywood. It's actually a big solid piece of wood that matches the rest of the cabinet work. So when you close it off, it's very fitting, the look. You don't lose that luxury bus feel. You know, some coaches do that. It's not a big deal, but yeah. And here's our bathroom space. Look how big this bathroom space is. There is a pocket door that goes right here, which I'm gonna close while we're talking about this area. And as you can see, this door has been styled just like the front pocket door. It's finished out, looks nice. It actually, you know, when the pocket doors look chintzy, it really reminds you that it's just a pocket door. This actually does make it feel like an enclosed room in here. Now, we do have a little sink here, and this is what is part of our slide out. So the slide goes out, including, and it's, or the slide right here for the bedroom begins here with this whole sink and everything. Nice little backsplash. We've got a vanity mirror, storage back behind, um, and then more storage down below. Now, we happen to have this stored here, and what this is, is a bag of goodies. We've got the original 07 American Eagle owner's manual. Uh, this is a cookbook for the microwave, but we've got pretty much all the original manuals and records in here. Very well laid out, as you can see. Um, it has everything you'll need as far as technical information on the coach. Now let's talk about the shower. This is a big rounded glass shower and there's an easy travel lock right there. Slides out of place. And honestly, the shower enclosure makes you think that it's gonna be bigger than it is, but it's still a pretty good size in here. Um, typical luxury bus setup here. We've got a nice place where you can sit. You can keep your soap and stuff here. Um, the woodwork up here is all looking quite nice it's actually mint i believe this trim work was replaced it's very common for steam and stuff like that when you're taking the shower especially with that unlimited hot water heater um, to steam up and start peeling these pieces so it's nice to see those look fresh and nice skylight lets in good sunlight um and yeah it's set up well in here nice shower and uh yeah i also like that drain it's clean looks nice nice and shiny gonna close that and it's got a magnet door uh, or a magnet strip, so it'll suck itself closed if you forget that travel lock. Um, but the travel lock is quite nice to have too. Now the next area we're gonna check out is our toilet room. Good space in here. I always like that little countertop thing, Corian piece that they do alongside the left side of the toilet. LED nightlight so you can see at night. There is a sink in here, a standalone sink, standalone um, pretty much the exact same sink setup that you've got over there, except this sink is actually bigger. Bigger medicine cabinet space. And then you got more storage down below too. So yeah, this is a good size toilet room. Um, uh, this is more than enough space, especially with having the sink and everything. That's a push button Tecma built-in grinder or macerator I should say. And then there's more storage behind the toilet well as well yeah so nice size toilet room big porcelain toilet and now we're gonna slide into the bedroom let's close these pocket doors 
and the pocket doors have these nice brass locks. The bedroom is carpeted. We've got nice clean carpet back here. I like the carpeting in this situation. It's like a Berber carpet. Um, it feels nice and um, it feels homey back here. It feels like a proper bedroom. This is a king size bed, huge countertop on that side with lots of uh, storage space here. We've also got a beautiful headboard and a window on that side. And then all up above this headboard is a ton of storage space. The storage space is very important on a coach, let me tell you. And this storage is super deep, all carpeted too. Carpeting is super clean throughout the coach. And it's a dark gray carpeting. You know, some other buses use like a white carpeting, but if you spill one jelly jar on it in the kitchen, you're toast, your carpeting looks like crap. So this carpeting doesn't have any of that, but if you do do that in the future, thankfully it's like a dark gray. Um, anyways, yeah, quite tasteful. I love this like maroon colored Alcantara that they've got all around the windows and on the headboard. It's just so, it's just so classy. And this right here is a nice uh, safety feature. This is a push button lock for the bolt lock on the door. We have a ceiling fan right there. It's a remote control for it. Um, that's quite a nice touch. You don't see it in a lot of coaches, a ceiling fan. Um, there is some like minor little undulations in the ceiling panel here you can you can you have to look at it in the right light um, by no means is this like sagging down or soft it's just slight imperfections that exist in the ceiling panel and it comes free of charge on this coach all right there's also a generator start stop button from back here so you can start that up from back in the bedroom there's outlets on both sides all right i'm sure you've noticed what's here so let's open this up so right here, we've got a huge wardrobe. Um, it's cedar lined. There's a couple free of charge stains right there um, that come with the coach. You know, I've seen every single coach on the planet or every single manufacturer that we've dealt with um, have leaks. This one had a leak way in its past that has been solved. Um, it happens all the time. We had leaks on our Eagle. We had leaks on our Bonicos. We had leaks on our Winnebago's. I've seen Prevos with leaks. I've seen Newell's with leaks. It's a man-made object. All right, so yeah, we've got a cedar line wardrobe back here. Gun safe has been added. There's another safe up there. I don't know if we have the keys. I believe we do. The gun safe is added on. It's got a code on it. That's pretty nice, especially in the bedroom. And then right here, we've got extra storage space cedar lined again and this is really set up um as a big shelf space i mean the storage in this coach is awesome um, all of our attachments for the central back there's another outlet set right down there and notice the um led lighting for the night lights they're quite bright they do a good job now across the bed is this massive tv this looks like a 50 inch or 52 inch or something um this is a big added smart tv that's gonna let you have some epic nighttime movie showings uh, when you're hanging out and chilling in the coach. And down below, we've got a little extra storage. That is the old Bose surround sound system, which is not hooked up, but you get it free of charge. I also really like these brass locks. These are so much more high quality than the plastic um, locking mechanisms as you see in a lot of coaches. These are pieces of brass that meet other pieces of brass to lock the compartments in the cabinets down below is the old subwoofer for the Bose surround sound again you can hook this up if you'd like it's kind of overkill of a, you can just use this as storage but it comes with the coach um, it got disconnected when this brand new TV was put in okay right over here we've got this beautiful slick curved countertop piece um, and down below we've got four deep drawers nice window these windows actually vent out and there's a little bit of fog. This is one of the windows that has a little bit of fog. And this is an emergency window. So you undo these. And if you need to, you can fall out of the coach. All right, if you're stuck in here and you're about to die because of a fire, that's a much better choice than dying in a fire. Outlets right here. They really did this very professionally. They even finished the mounting, big mounting plate they've got here um, with like a felt carpeting that nearly matches the carpeting in all the cabinetry. So that's pretty slick. And that is a tour of the coach. By the way, this bedroom is big. Like you can walk around here, um, no problem. 
And over here, it's like it's a set bedroom. Like you shut the door off, and you're like, ah, oh, it's a big bedroom back here. Great floor plan. And I also really like, like, check this out. You shut that off, and because that slide includes part of the bathroom, this is a huge master suite. I mean, check this out. You have so much space back here. This is fantastic. Um, anyways, all right, we're gonna take you down the road. Let's go. Let's go break some necks. All right, we're going on a little late night test drive here. This is how I like to spend my Friday nights. This has the Spartan K2 chassis with that American Coach Liberty Frame steel network of framing that makes this coach way better to drive than your average K2 with no additional support from the manufacturer. That Liberty Frame is a big steel cage um, added frame that significantly increases chassis rigidity, therefore reducing the noise, reducing rattles, reducing vibrations, um, and all kinds of things uh, like that. And you know, the cabinets are less likely to be moving around as much. It just overall creates a much, much, much better driving experience. When race cars add roll cages, this is the purpose of them. They add roll cages to add increased rigidity. This coach, I have to say, um, we used to have a 2007 American Eagle with the exact same engine, exact same chassis, all that. And this one honestly feels a little better to me. I don't know what the, I don't know what that is, um, but whatever it is, the coach is tight, very tight. Inside, there's minimal rattles, minimal noise. This is one of the best driving coaches you can possibly buy, not because it's got the Spartan K2, that obviously is part of the picture, but it's also that added stiffness from the frame and also the really nice cabinet work inside and just lack of vibrations and sound that come into the chassis and come into the coach. We also have these nice side cameras that pop up on that huge, huge added screen. Um, and that is a big plus. We've got all new cameras, new rear camera, new side cameras. They automatically pop up. That's a big plus. You can glance over and get a great view out of the coach. Um, the gauges are nice and clean. The view out of that big one piece windshield is fantastic. Even though right now it is covered in water. Um, I love the smart wheel. You can set the exact time in between windshield wiper pulses. You can go high, low. You can flash the headlights by turning them off and on. Um, you can flash the tail lights if you want. Really, really, really nice coach. This thing is made to do some major miles and in major comfort. You can buy a diesel coach and yes, it's gonna ride a lot better, but then when you come up to a big 45 foot bus like this, you've got all those added extra features, solid cabinet work, really quiet ride. It just makes it much more comfortable, much more able to compensate against winds and deal with winds and deal with those big mountains that you're gonna see all over the country. Great driving bus.